Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to IFA, or the local feed store, and uh, to pick up some supplies for kidding. We're gonna have baby goats here soon. I'm riding shotgun to my 16-year-old who is learning to drive. So much fun. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, we've got to get all sorts of things. We need to get some some things for just in case. Um, thing, you know, it's just it's just best to be prepared. Um, <laughs> if you're like me, you watch other people having their goats give babies and you end up seeing all the problems that <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous uh, this goat has kitted once before she had one baby and um, she did fine so I'm hoping that'll be the same this time around uh, so yeah pray for Bart that her babies will come out just fine for my first time around because I I am I'm scared but excited we're really really excited because uh, we're, we're coming up on it it's gonna be pretty soon um, I don't know that she has more than one baby again and that's fine that might be best <laughs> just cuz uh, it's our first time so anyway uh, so here we go all right <laughs> I was going to film while we were in the store. I forgot. I'll give you a view of what we bought when we get home. But Anyway, we picked up what we need for birthing goats. And uh, so one step closer. Today the goal is to get the fence up, get the hay down. Um, My daughter is driving. <laughs> I'm watching the road too. But anyway, uh, get the fence up, get the hay down, get the get. Uh, I think we'll get Bart moved over, um, so that she's there and, and ready for that. So anyway, getting exciting. Okay, we've had some really good rain today. We actually got some puddles in the yard. So it was a nice monsoon little rainstorm and anyway, I just wanted to get out and show you what I have put together for my kitting kit. Uh, we've been pulling stuff together so that we're all ready for that. Um, hey girls, over there are some things on the, the bench. I need you to bring them over to me, okay? So, lube. Puppy pads. This is some dewormer. We'll save that for later. We've got some selenium. We give that to mama and we can give some of that to the babies. We've got a bottle just in case. More puppy pads. <laughs> Reader sleeves. So these are your big long gloves. So if I have to reach in deep got some Nutrigen. This is just, it says rapid rich nutrition supplements. So if we need to do something real fast for the goat to help them perk up a bit. And then we have some colostrum powder just in case. Uh, I don't anticipate needing it because Bart has had one baby before and she took really good care of him. Um, but it, it's just good to have this on hand. So I remembered I had this nice little uh, bag thingy that I bought forever ago and I've used for different things over time and so figure we'll just 
use it for lambing kit. Get everything put in there so it looks nice and neat. And we have that ready to go. And then you could just put the towel on top and then bring it out. Pull it yep. out. Then... So pretty sure I have everything I need to grab. I need to grab some towels. I've got some ratty towels in there uh, that we can use. And and I think we're we're ready for this thing. We'll see what what she does because she may she may just have her baby in the middle of the night and I won't even know until we get up in the morning. So um Bart, how are you doing? How are we doing, Bart? Are you ready to have a baby? Yeah? You ready to have a baby? What so. are some signs to know if they're going What are the signs? Yeah. The signs are she, her ligaments will disappear on the back. So back by her tail, there's some ligaments, they'll soften. She'll start getting some mucus coming out of her back end down here. And that will also swell up a little bit. And we'll see her start pushing when it's time, huh? You see you start pushing when it's time? Okay. Okay, guys. We have... I want to show you something glorious. We are getting rain. You okay, Bart? Not a ton of rain, but it's more than we've had in months. Are we doing okay, Bart? What are those flies doing there? Hanging out on you. What did, oh, are you, did you get locked out, Mama? Did you get locked out of your, did you get locked out of your nest? Oh, goodness. She's broody, and the goats will come in and rub against it and flip the things up. Anyway, so we're going to try and get out here while it's nice and cool, even in the rain. And, and still get some stuff done. we got to get the fence in. Uh, we gotta get some straw in. We got what do we gotta do? Yeah, fence and straw and and hay. So anyway. It's the perfect weather to work. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. We're we got Maybe happy kids. I prefer if it wasn't raining. <laughs> like I like the clouds. I like these clouds. <laughs> rain. And I like the rain, but not oh, necessarily yeah. working in the rain. <laughs> I can work. Yeah, in right. Right now. Yeah, right now as working, this is the perfect. If I was sitting rain. inside, oh, yeah. then this is the perfect weather. So, anyway, so what we've got, we've got these big tubs. I should have filmed it yesterday. We went out to. Uh, our pro the property where our friends are storing our hay for us and we put a bunch in the back of the truck <laughs> and we because we're getting them off a great big 4x4x8 four by four by bale we determined we needed to find a way to uh, travel and carry it I bought some big bins that we can put it into. It's it's a learning curve. It's stuff we're just going to have to figure out so that we can um, get it over here. But, you know, it's worth getting the big bail because it saves us tons of money. So, and they will last us a long time. Alright, so this is the hay we brought over yesterday. It's just kind of in a big lump. And we're going to get it put into these. And then we're, we'll... Uh, figure it out, you know, we may need to go get more and fill some more of these bins. 
Uh um. -oh. Just gonna. Uh, hope this isn't like low. Yeah, so we're just gonna sure. carefully rake it, and you know we do have a little bit of wind, don't we? battery. No. Oh, see that's blowing that way, isn't it? So I was here with that for a second. <laughs> well, I don't know, like the little drips of cold water just hitting me all the time. It's just, it's okay if I'm not no, like noticing it. it. Like when I'm noticing it. Okay, so we what we also need to do is push push it down in, pack it in really tight. Okay, I'll be right back. Kind of determine how much we're gonna give. Are you guys hungry? I didn't give you enough food this morning, probably, oh. huh? <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, oh! Do you see Coco? Oh. Did you see Coco bounce around? No, I She's missed so it. Cute. Are you bouncing, Coco? <laughs> You guys need your hooves trimmed. I haven't done it for a little while. Yes. You gonna eat me? Do I taste like hay? Do I taste like hay? Do I taste like hay? <laughs> Did we do it, man? Yay, so we've got our dividing fence in on, on this side. Got all the chickens on that side with Bart. We'll get some straw in here. Yeah. At least right there. Yeah, we'll probably fill all of this with some fresh hay. Or at least over there so anyway here film me for a second get turned in there <laughs> well so we're just working on getting some food in here for Bart sorry can they hear you over the I don't know I'll talk loud <laughs> anyway listen. put it up closer is that good <laughs> hey so we're getting food and water put together for Bart and the, these other goats it's almost milking time. Uh, when we felt Bart's ligaments this morning, the one side seemed a little bit softer than the other. We'll keep checking her. Uh, in fact, we'll probably, I'll have the other girls pull her up on the stanchion tonight and we'll check her. Uh, but we're getting close. We're getting close. So keep, keep watching. We're going to have baby. Zzz. Hopefully zzz. babies. <laughs> I know she's got at least one, so we'll see. We'll see. Go ahead and
Uh, we will. Uh, she's not. She's not particularly close yet, so uh, I, so I think we'll put straw in tomorrow. Okay. And uh, I'm just kind of watching the rain as well, so and trying to decide how much straw to put in if I'm going to cover a whole bunch of the run or if I'm going to just do um, inside the barn. I think I might just do inside this barn. Yeah, she could save some. For and uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, so that's that's where we're at. They have done just fine with their dividing area. We're getting close to milking. So Sister Rancher, I think, is gonna come over to milk because I wanted to show her how to use the okay. pump. Do I don't have to yeah, probably not. I know, Lucy. Lucy, it's almost time, sweetie. It's almost time. <laughs>